In this video I'm going to show you how to import one of the Globally Flow export files which will create the flows automatically for you. So the first thing you do is you go to your Globally Flow, go to your workspace, and then the, camp, the app you want to import the, the flow into. So we're going to do that into the campaigns. Click the gear icon and then import choose the file here's the global flow print letters flow that's been exported open and then import now it builds it and then this warning important importing flows into different apps may not match fields perfectly please check all your fields especially inserted tokens and correct any issues before saving so what that means is sometimes these fields, the ones in blue, will be invalid because the, uh, the app that you're referencing up here is different. So that's why I suggest you make sure that you copied the apps from the previous tutorials exactly. So if you want to import the flows into Globy Flow, that they'll work. They'll work without you having to change anything. So we're just going to scroll down, look for anything funny. All these look good. The ones that will look funny is if uh, you see these square brackets and then it's not blue. That means the, the field doesn't exist and then you have to go into here and select and reselect the field. It's going to look down, all looks good. Uh, it's going to be a little harder for you to spot these because you're not sure what to look for, but it should be all right. I mean, if anything happens, you save it and you run it. If it works, it works. You're good. If not, come back here, take a look at the error messages, and you'll be able to hunt out what what's wrong. If not, you can come ask me. All right, that looks all good since we already have print letters, we can name it to something else, the name doesn't make a difference, and then just save and you will have your campaign set up right here. So that's exactly how you would print the mail, or you export a Globy Flow flow that you've downloaded from my tutorial instead of having to enter it in all yourself. I still recommend you go through the tutorial and try to create the flows yourself from my videos. That way you understand what's happening and you're able to then go back and modify if you need to, troubleshoot, or even create your own in the future. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask. Leave a comment below or send me an email at scott at Thank you.